all right fishing freaks welcome on back to the channel we are about 500 yards from a remote fishery up here We're doing some elk hunting but we've uh we've got equipment to do some trout fishing so you gotta navigate some logs and such and then we're gonna hopefully see a big nice beautiful lake with a bunch of trout in it if, uh, see if they're in here first before we start making bets a little pre-dangle i'll tell you what that last little jaunt that was a good go got me going yeah i, I felt it so this is kind of like a travel fly rod that I've got. Got it because it comes in a tube and fits nicely on the back of a pack, but it's a six piecer. I think it's around eight and a half, nine foot. Look at that. Look at that. So you're ready to rumble here. Break all these pieces out, put them together. It's kind of a process, you know. This isn't something you want to do just often. You want to find a good spot. Focus in, build your rod. And then just absolutely hammer them. Huh? And then absolutely hammer them. I'm hoping, I mean, places like this that don't get pressured could be silly. They could just come up, start chomping anything we throw in there. But we've got a little fly selection. Heard some hoppers on the way out here. So we got hoppers. It's always good in September in Colorado. A couple of little uh, sinking flies. Not really sure what they're called. Some nymphs and whatnot. You always want to take your release off before you give it a dangle. That's my tip of the day. This is more finesse. This is more about the craft, which normally I'm, you know, just kind of ripping them out of lakes. I enjoy all kinds of fishing, though. Folks at home, right now we're putting on a number six watermelon buster. It's known for its brook trout catching abilities. I actually have no idea what this fly is called, but some of the flies out there have the most amazing names, most creative names. There's actually a fly called the Sex Dungeon, Sex Dungeon, and it's pretty popular for trout. Sex Dungeons? Sex Dungeon. Are popular? Yep. We're going to try the old toppy top first. See how that goes. Watch your nuts back there. this wind to contend with here. Wind's gonna be wind's gonna be real bad I'm just gonna let you know. Fly. It's a little heavier. It has two dandies. Two dandies? Oh! Go one right just jumped. Right here. Three. It's, it's turning on. Mm. It's a nice break from trekking around in the woods. You know? yeah. Good luck. You know what's really strange? Is there some llamas across the way? Like, never in my life would I picture I'm fly fishing in a mountain lake. There's llamas just laying in the grass, <laughs> sunning in the middle of nowhere. Oh, I think I just saw a flash. It's gonna happen right here. You know, Jake, camera guy right now, he's in his undies. Um, I, I might go that direction if I can't get one of these trout to, uh, to hit at this distance. I keep seeing them like just out of reach. So frustrating. That's where having a, a lure, you know, a spinning rod, you can really get it out there. But if you're really good at fly fishing, you can do that too. I'm just not. But I know there's one in here, striking distance. What do they want? Oh! Dude, it felt heavy. I hear the worst part about that is I literally just 
<laughs> hit the record <laughs> button. Yes, yeah. Dude, it felt big. I see your rod double over. Yeah. I think I set it pretty good. So just had our first strike. It's definitely doable. God, I want to know how big that fish was, <laughs> man. That wasn't no little eight inch no. brook trout. No. Didn't seem like you moved him much. No. I, that's why I thought I broke him. Because mm -hmm. I set the hook pretty hard and it just like dissipated. Come on, Sally. Give me that nibble. Oh, see that one? Mm hmm. Where was he at? I heard him. Far. Oh, right there, right there, right there, right there. Right on that point. Another Ooh. one. Yep, yep, yep. You're right in it. Right in the zone. Got him! <laughs> Sight casted him. <laughs> Baby, come here, little one. What are you? Oh, I don't think I've caught one of these. What is this? This is a brook. Oh my gosh, Dude. this is so gorgeous. Oh, wow. Holy cow, look how beautiful that is. Dude, are you tight? Oh yeah. Purple with red in the middle. One just busted again out in front of me. A brook trout. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Sniffed. I'm gonna let him go. See you, buddy. Get out there. Eat them bugs. Heck yeah. Dude, yeah, there was two more. Yeah, right up in front of you. They might be coming in. How about that? That was cool. That was cool. That wasn't a big one, but it was like, saw him, flicked on him, and then wah-bam. Wow. That's the prettiest fish I've ever caught in my life. There's another one. Yep. Dude, they are out there. That's like the third or fourth one I've seen. They're just a hair out of distance. You think so? Yeah. So I had a new garbage bag full too. They're just a hair out of range, man. I think we should probably dry our feet out. I was just sitting here talking with uh, Casey about how nice it is to be up here in the mountains and like back home in Texas, you know, we have ticks and we have rattlesnakes and copperheads and cactus and all sorts of plants that'll stick you and it's like so nice to just sit here and relax and fish in the mountains and hunt and not have to worry about it and Jake, the guy behind the camera right now goes, hey, I've got a bunch of leeches on me and I start looking down at my legs and I definitely have leeches they're like here's two right here i've never got leeches before these tiny little brown leeches definitely right here they're surrounding my calf area working towards the lower ankles Let's see that one on your leg there by your ankle no one gave me a warning either it was just like you're just gonna get these things we're gonna watch so first time getting leeches i'm gonna pluck this thing off it's not connected that's good how gross. You know, I don't know what's worse. Leeches or, no, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say ticks are definitely worse than leeches. Yeah. Yeah. Leeches just kind of suck your blood. They're actually used in medicinal purposes sometimes, I think, but, you know. Right now, we just need to suck the bad luck off of uh, my legs right here. Okay, well, I just want to let y'all know you know, in the moment, I thought there was nothing that could bite you or sting you or take your blood. I was wrong. You know, I've been staring at this little donker fishing pole on the back of Trent's pack all day. He's been calling it Excalibur. Apparently, this thing just slays trout. And uh, I've seen him catch one good trout on it so far. And uh, old Jake behind the camera, he's been slaying. And what this thing does is it, it extends out into a telescoping unit that you can then get your Panther Martin out there. Y'all, I gotta be honest with you. Panther Martin's not a big deal in Texas. It, this looks like a Sharpie red bullet weight with a little blade on it, but apparently it's catching trout right now. So I'm gonna switch from the fly. This has landed many of trout in the mountains while elk hunting. I gotta give it a shot. We have, uh, we might could top this one here. Cause this is a, 
this is the next level this is this is a quantum um and it feels like an absolute junker but let's give it a dangle got my buddy jt right here he just caught his first brook trout with the fly on the hopper we're gonna go back in and get some more leeches it's kind of therapeutic but apparently these fish are uh, starting to feed a little bit we really should probably get up in the mountains and start bugling but it's kind of fun to catch some trout especially brook trout these things are absolutely gorgeous Oh, Excalibur! Got him! Second cast with Excalibur. Domination. On the telepole. Daggum, son! This is my second, I'm gonna assume it's a brook trout. Second brook trout ever. And man, they are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Even on their backs, they have this um, almost like a pike does, where it's like a camouflage. And then you turn them over, and it's just beautiful pink. And even the white on their fins. I mean, the blueberry blue with the bright red dot is absolutely gorgeous. So, it's about the same size as my last one. These trout don't really get huge. And they usually live in really small streams and remote mountain lakes, but yeah, they're very slippery. But I've gotten two now. One on the fly and one on traditional. You know, traditional for all my, all my bass fishermen out there. Some people say you gotta do, do fly or do trout with the fly. I beg to differ. You get the old spinners out there, you can get to slaying them. I'm pretty sure this line on here is a uh, Cajun line probably been on here since 95 but still doing the trick out here in the mountain lakes shout out born and raised we got to upgrade your fishing gear though holler googansquad.com that's it i like that got him there <laughs> wah bam oh. feels like a juicy one Is he on? he's on don't, don't lose him. hit it hard Jammed it, didn't he? Hit it real hard. <laughs> Jammed it up. Oh, running into the grass line? Yep. What do we got here? This might be a little better one. Yeah, slam. That X caliber. Oh, this is a big one. Ooh. This is a dandy. Oh, look at this beautiful fish. Oh, my goodness. Get him on the bank. X caliber coming through. That's a pretty fish. This is, this is an absolutely gorgeous fish. I'm going to make sure he lives. So I'm just gonna kind of snuggle them up in the grass right here. Put the Excalibur down. Wow, they got some teeth too, I didn't realize. This one is actually uh, starting to get that hardened snout. So you can tell it's a more mature fish. I didn't even realize they have these teeth. Those front teeth right there, look at that. Look at the colors, look at the colors. Well, there he goes, off and strong. I think that is gonna be the end of my brook trout fishing experience for today. End on a nice dandy like that, fire red belly. Gorgeous. It's time for us to get back in the mountains, y'all. All right, y'all, we're packed up. Heading back into the woods. Time to go hunt some more elk. But, got a nice little break today catching the brook trout so go ahead and smash that like button for catching a rare fish at least for me Whew. yeah we're gonna go up here about a thousand feet try to catch our breath subscribe so you don't miss a single episode we'll see you guys on the next one later